The user presets on the Brondel Swash 1400 are one of the most commonly called about settings. The process for setting those user presets is a little bit tricky and we often get customers calling us asking us how to set those. So let's go ahead and walk through it. The first step that you'll want to take in order to set your user presets is run whatever wash you want to run. So let's say the rear wash. And then once that wash is running, adjust the water temperature, adjust the spray width, adjust the nozzle position, adjust the water pressure, adjust all of these settings until you find your perfect wash settings. Once these have been adjusted and you have your wash settings set up the way that you want them, wait. You have to wait for the entire wash cycle to run through. That's a two minute wash cycle. Stay seated, let the Swash 1400 do its thing. And once that wash is completed, at that point in time, you'll be able to set the user presets. One of the main problems that we find customers uh, run into when trying to set the user presets is jumping the gun. All right, I ran my wash, I've selected my options, user preset time. If you run through it in that manner, the user preset is not going to save. So we hit the wash we want, we select the options we want, we sit there for two minutes or we sit there until the wash ends, and then at that point in time, we press and hold after the wash ends and we're still seated, we press and hold on the user preset that we want to set for about five seconds and we'll hear a single chime. That means that we've saved those user presets. You'll also see at that point in time, the lights show up here for spray width and water temperature, showing the spray width and water temperature that the seat is saving. So if you hear a double chime there, you probably, sh you probably jump the gun on that. Uh, if you hear a single chime and you see these lights light up for the spray width and the water temperature, you're probably good to go. Now, in order to utilize that user preset, the process is much simpler. Also note, there's a user preset one and a user preset two. You can utilize that same process of setting the user preset for either of those two. Each of those user presets also allows you to save settings for either the rear wash or the front wash. So we could do the same set of, uh, of adjustments and save a front wash user preset as well. In order to utilize a user preset, once it's set, we sit down on the toilet, we hit the user preset we want to use. You can see the lights show that those are the settings that I've set in my user preset. And then I simply select rear or front wash, depending on which of those two washes I want to use the user presets for. This concludes our Brondell Swash 1400 remote walkthrough. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to check out our website. A link to the website is in the video description, manybidets.com. Uh, you can also email us, call us, live chat with us on the website, or text us with any questions or concerns. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and also consider making your next purchase from manybidets.com to support us and help us continue to create great content like this for yourself and others down the road. Thank you so much again for watching and have a fantastic day. Minibidays.com, where we sell mini bidets, not mini bidets.